In this video, we're going to find the derivative of this function. So before we do, let's go ahead and try to rewrite this as much as we can. So notice we have a square root function here. Whenever you have a square root function, you can write it uh, with the exponent of one half. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that and then we're gonna put it in the front just to make things a little bit easier. So we have f of t. And whenever you have logs in a problem, you should always think, can I rewrite what's inside the log in a convenient way? If the answer is yes, then you typically should try to do that. So this is t to the 3 halves, and then we'll write it as log base 6 of t plus 2, and this is to the 1 half power, so we're here. So the next step, we'll just take the 1 half and put it in the front. That's a property of logs. So we have f of t equals... So let's put the 1 half in the front. So we have 1 half t to the 3 halves log base 6 of t plus 2. So we're here now. And so now we're going to use the product rule to find this derivative. So I'm going to insert parentheses here just to add clarity for myself. So now we know what the first piece is and what the second piece is. Recall the product rule says, I'll write it over here, if you have the derivative of f times g, think of this as the first piece and this as the second piece. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Now, notice I say first and second. The reason I do that is because here, this is called f. Here, we also have f, so it's very confusing if you think about it like this. Like as what, if you think about it as f prime g, f g prime, that makes it harder. But if you think about it as the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second, it doesn't matter what variables you use in the problem. You, your mind uh, can work a little bit more clearly. So let's do it. So f prime of t. So we're going to take the derivative of the first piece. So here we're going to multiply 3 halves times 1 half. So that's 3 fourths. So 3 fourths t, right, because you bring it down. So 3 fourths, 3 halves minus 1. So 3 halves minus 1 is really 3 halves minus 2 halves. So that's 1 half. So this is the derivative of the first. Right, we subtracted 1. 3 halves minus 2 halves is 1 half times the second. Going really slow. I haven't done this problem in a long time. So derivative of the first, and it looks really messy times the second plus the first, so just the one half t to the three halves, I'll put this in parentheses, times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of this, uh, let me refresh your memory, if you have the derivative of log base a of x, it's one over x, one over ln a, that's the formula. So here it'll be, it will be one over t plus two, it's 1 over whatever is here, and then 1 over ln 6 times, now you multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of t plus 2 is 1. Beautiful. We're pretty much done. I just have to erase the 1 and we call it a day. But let's go over it again. So it's the derivative of the first. So you brought down the 3 halves. So we have 3 fourths, subtracted 1, so we got here, times the second plus the first times this derivative here. So it's 1 over t plus 2, uh, 1 over ln 6 times the derivative of the inside. Um, I'll go ahead and rewrite it one more time. Uh, I was just going to put the 1 over ln 6 here, but actually, you know what? Let's not even do that. Let's just call it a day on this one. So uh, easy is better. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.